So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can extend a class in TypeScript. And you might want to extend a class if you want to create new objects that have got the same properties and methods as an existing class, uh, but add some extras in or potentially override some of the methods. So let's have a look at how we could do that with our user class that we created in a previous web dev tip. So here we've got the basic class and we've got a constructor function, which takes three arguments, name, age, and is pro dev and then puts those as private properties onto the objects that are created. So to extend the class in TypeScript, first of all, we give our class a name. So we might call this uh, something like developer, for example, uh, to indicate a type of user that uh, we want to use within our application. And so the class is called developer, and then we're just going to say it extends the user class. So just by extending our user class, we'll inherit any of the properties that we've set up, such as uh, logged in and any of the methods that are available to us, such as this login method. And we also have to respect the arguments that have been passed into the constructor as well. So if we try and create a new uh, object from our developer class, you should see we get an error uh, because what uh, the TypeScript compilation is expecting uh, is two or three arguments, so name, age, and is pro dev, uh, to be supplied to the developer class, uh, even though it doesn't have anything in its constructor at the moment, we still need to provide the properties that are in the constructor uh, for the user class. So let's just say something like uh, James and provide an age and we'll just leave off that is pro dev property. But now you can see that the error message has uh, disappeared and uh, we should be able to uh, log that out to the console uh, just to see the object that we're creating. Okay, and there's the, the object that has been created. And you can see we've got the logged in value here, along with the other values that we've assigned in our constructor here. So our developer class doesn't really do anything at the moment, uh, but we have extended the user class. Uh, but you might want to, as mentioned before, add some additional functionality uh, onto this developer class. So we could, for example, uh, create new properties on the new class that we're creating. So we could have something like skills, for example. Um, we'll just say that's an array of strings. And that could be something that holds a list of skills that the developer has. And let's just set it to be uninitialized here. Or actually, let's just set it to be an empty array to start off with. And if we run the code again, we should see that property now appearing uh, on the developer object that we're creating here on line 21. So yeah, there's just a quick introduction to extending classes in TypeScript, and hopefully you can see how you can add additional properties to your classes that you're creating that have been extended from base classes. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can upgrade the constructor function and then pass in additional properties while still keeping the existing properties that are defined in the base class constructor function. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.